All right, so once you're all ready, you can set up your page to say finding a common denominator. I have my slash date in the corner and I'm ready. So let's start with some fractions. I'm thinking of one third plus one fourth. Okay, so we need to create a unit on our graph paper. So I'm going to take one of my colored pencils and I'm going to count three squares on the graph paper. I like to put dots at the end so that it's super clear. Going down vertically, I'm going to count for my fourths. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go across down here again to mark my thirds and on this side to mark my fourths. Okay, so I can see my thirds. I'm gonna use the same color. There's one of my thirds. There's a second third and there's my third third. So one, two, three. My rectangle has been divided into three equal pieces. Now I wanna see the same rectangle split into fourths. So there's one fourth, there's two fourths, there's three fourths and four fourths. Okay, so now I'm ready to add them together. I need to find out what equivalent fraction the thirds is that's shared with the fourths. So my new unit is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My new unit is twelfths, so I know both of my fractions can be renamed as twelfths. The third, the one third, let's see. This is one of my thirds. So my one third became one, two, three, four twelfths. And what did my one fourth become? Well, here's one of my fourths and I can count one, two, three, three twelfths. So my third became four twelfths and my fourth became three twelfths. And I can count one, two, three, four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths is what we get when we add them together. You probably know that you can add the numerator if the denominator is the same. So 7 twelfths is our answer.